Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. This afternoon's topic is going to be the light bulb moment when you figured out you were with a narcissist. Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So throughout the relationship with the narcissist, let's be real, it was a rocky, tumultuous, not, not healthy, not steady relationship. And throughout it, you couldn't quite figure out what was going on. You knew that that it wasn't, how do you say, a healthy relationship comparable to, to others' relationships. And you knew that when the door closed, the front door closed, that the Dr. and Jekyll part of the narcissist would come out. In other words, the person you were with was one person to the public and someone completely different behind closed doors. But you tolerated this, you put up with it, you worked hard on the relationship, you did everything you possibly could to maintain a somewhat semblance of a healthy relationship. During this time period, or perhaps post-narcissistic relationship, there is a moment in time, which I call the light bulb moment, others may call it an aha moment, when you figure out, oh my God, I'm with a narcissist, or I was with a narcissist. And it's at this exact moment in time when you understand everything that you thought was real and everything you thought that that was a healthy relationship, although you, were, you questioned it throughout the relationship because it didn't seem to be healthy and you seemed to be contributing much more than you were receiving. But when you realize this, oh my gosh, what, what is this? I can't believe it. It's almost as if somebody just, they just, in, in those cartoons, like when they get the hammer and they smash someone on top of the head, remember it's a cartoon, and then they, they start seeing stars like that and it's like their head spinning. It's kind of like that, and I'm not making light of anything. But it, it's, it's eye-opening, it's shocking, it's jaw-dropping, it's surreal. And when you have this light bulb moment of, oh my gosh, I was with a narcissist, that's when this, the healing path begins. And the healing path is extremely long, difficult, grueling, but it's something you need to do. And that's why you're on the channel. And again, thank you for being here. But when you figured out that you were with a narcissist, it, it could have been during the relationship, Perhaps you were taking notes on your phone, or perhaps you were journaling, or perhaps you were just taking pictures of, of events or recording conversations, things like that. By no means am I suggesting that you should have been recording conversations or things like that. But if you are honest with yourself throughout your relationship, which turned out to be a narcissistic relationship, I'm willing to guess that there were many, many moments when you weren't sure what was going on. What was this? Was this real? Like what? Who treats people like this? Who does this? Who, who has rage fits like this? Who ghosts people? Who, all the things that we discuss in the channel, you, you began to question yourself, and I, I'm certain some of you documented these things. I know I did, which is for a different video. But the point is, is you needed validation from yourself because the person you were with who turned out to be a narcissist was never going to validate you. They were never gonna sit down and have that cup of coffee and say, yeah, you know, I'm gaslighting you. Yes, actually, I know you're in the trauma bond and I know that you can't break free of it right now. Yes, I know I manipulate you. Yes, I know that my goal is to ultimately destroy you and throw you away like a piece of trash on the side of the road. They're not gonna do any of those things. What they were doing throughout the relationship is they were stringing you along, trying to get as much supply, as much control, and as much manipulation out of you as possible. And they did it, and they probably did a very good job. What I'm saying though is when you actually understand and you have that light bulb moment of, oh my God, I was with a narcissist, like what is this? That's when the whole game changes. That's when the whole relationship turns inside out and you have to process things and you understand, you need to understand a glossary of definitions of terms and that's when you actually start to, to understand, oh my gosh, like I knew things weren't healthy but I, I actually continued to believe that they would improve. Of course, you're, you're, you're grasping at straws here and you're clinging to hopes of the love bomb stage, which we now know will never return. But at the time, you didn't know that. You just couldn't wrap your head around it. And what you would do, let's say during a 30-day month period, perhaps you would get three days, out of, three days out of the 30 or 10% of somewhat of a stable relationship and you'd be like, all right, that's fine. Maybe it's improving. Maybe, maybe next month you got four days and you were thinking to yourself, <coughs> excuse me, you were thinking to yourself, wow, it's getting better. But then of course, in the third month, you would get one day. And ultimately, if you really think about a healthy relationship, it should be 30 days of beauty, 30 days of love, commitment, devotion, growing together, fulfillment, 
happiness. That's how it should be. Yeah, of course, there will be bumps in the road here and there, but with a narcissistic relationship, it's quite the opposite. And the not so good days massively outnumber the, the few good days that you have. So when you understand that, wow, I was with a narcissist and you have this light bulb moment, that's when everything changes. And that's, I, I'm suggesting that that's when you actually took the first step on your healing path. It really is. Because when you understand this, and you understand the definitions, the glossary, and the terms, and you compare stories with other people on my channel and many others, and you become educated, that's when you're like, I can't believe that this exists on this planet, this thing called narcissism. More importantly, I can't believe that I was in a narcissistic relationship. And third, you're thinking, was it just me? Like, is it just me on this planet that, that experienced this, that went through it? Bear in mind, when you were with the narcissist, they wanted you isolated. They wanted to control you, manipulate you, to take you away from your family, your friends, your, your routine, your regime, probably where you lived. They wanted everything for themselves to be, to be kept for themselves so you couldn't, you couldn't do things on your own and you became reliant on the narcissist in many capacities. But when you understood and you had the light bulb moment like, oh my God, I was in a narcissistic relationship, there is a litany of emotions that will run through you from anger, frustration, in insecurity, wonderment, bereavement, all different kinds of, of pain and frustration and guilt and everything possible. And then you will get anger and then you will, then you will, all these processes will happen. But the light bulb moment when you figure out that you are with a narcissist, that is life changing. It really is. It's, it's almost as if you've, you've cracked the code and you finally figured out that it, this wasn't me. I, I wasn't at fault. I wasn't doing anything other than loving and being kind and considerate and empathetic and trusting and caring. And I was giving to a fault every way possible, financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Every way possible is what you did. You gave, I know you did. I know you worked as hard as you possibly could on the relationship. I wanna mention this briefly that, and I say it so often that I know you were working on the relationship because I was too. If you really take a step back and think for a moment, a healthy relationship, of which the narcissistic relationship is not one, but a healthy relationship should not require work. It should require two people moving towards the same goals, the same aspirations, dreams, and being committed to each other. And they, these two people should be on the same path, and it shouldn't be work, it should be almost effortless. In other words, if one person gets injured or sick or needs help, the other person should, at a drop of a hat, be there to comfort them, to be there with them, to build them back up, to help them understand that they're not alone and that I'm here with you. We made, a, we made an agreement, an arrangement, whether you got married or not, and you said, yeah, I'm gonna be here for you. It's you and I, we're, get, we're in this together. That's what a healthy relationship should be about. It shouldn't be work, it shouldn't be effort. In other words, using the other, using the example of being sick, for example, as an example, sorry. If you're sick or ill and you were with a narcissist, I'm certain they did the bare bones minimum to help you out. Perhaps they disappeared for days, weeks, or months until you healed, and then again, you could become a source, a valid or good, solid source of supply again. If, if it was never more evident during that time, it should be now as you're watching this video. You see, the narcissist wasn't there for you, and throughout the relationship, they weren't there for you. We already know this now. Maybe during the relationship, we were, were clinging onto the bread home, breadcrumbs of hope that the love bomb would return or that in fact they would be there for us and they would help us out and they would want to change. They won't, they don't, they didn't, and they never will. As we talk, of course, remember, the narcissist is grooming a new supply or new sources of supply right now. And what they're doing is they're doing exactly what they did to you, but at a much quicker speed, a much quicker rate. That's what they're doing. Getting back on track, when you figured out that you were with the narcissist and you had that, that light bulb moment, you, at that time, for me at least, and I remember exactly where I was and how I figured it out, again, for a different video, but when that happened, I felt completely, completely isolated and completely in shock, in disbelief, and I, I could not get over the fact. I was proud of myself to, to, for actually having figured it out because I put a lot of time into this on my own. Remember, I was by myself, and as I still am right now, putting every bit of, of the puzzle pieces together. But I figured it out and I was proud of myself and I was like, you did it Andrew, this is great. But then all this flood of emotions rang, rang through me like, 
and, and rapidly pieces of the puzzle came together quicker than ever. Like I would say within the first three weeks or so, all these puzzle pieces just dropped into place perfectly. That's why they did this. That's why they didn't do that. That's why they weren't around. That's what they meant. All these things just clicked. It's almost as if the, the, the whole um, narcissism topic was waiting for me to discover it, which in fact it was, and it was just sitting there waiting right in front of me the whole time. The thing is, when, when, when you have this light bulb moment of, oh my gosh, I was with a narcissist, it's not like you're expecting that answer. It's not like, remember, you're not taught this in school. You're not taught things about narcissism in school, so this isn't on your radar. It, it's nowhere there. You're just thinking, wow, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm being sensitive. Maybe, you know, maybe I didn't give enough. Maybe I didn't contribute enough. But you notice all the things I just said there? It's always me. You're thinking it's me, 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 me. The whole time you're thinking this, you know that the narcissist, keep in mind at the time you don't know they're a narcissist, but you know that they're manipulating and they're cruel and they're devastating and destroying you and they're just pushing the boundaries. Your boundaries at this point probably were smashed and you didn't realize that because you were caught in the trauma bond and you were just completely in the fog. But you, when you figure this out, when you understand that, oh my gosh, I was with a narcissist, a lot of things go through your mind and the first thing you think of is yourself. It really is because you've, most likely you've been discarded or the relationship ended and you're isolated and you're on your own and you're trying to put everything together. But narcissism isn't what's on your mind. It's not until things click by watching my channel, this channel, sorry, and many others, or maybe talking to a therapist, whomever, that that, that word narcissism even enters the picture. And at that point you're like, oh my God, I think this is it. I think I was, oh my God, I was. It's like, it's like that. And when that happens, like I said, that's the first step on the healing path. And remember, the healing path is not linear. It's gonna take a long, long time to process all these things we're discussing in the channel. But when you figure it out, it, that you were with a narcissist and, and that narcissism does exist, that is a massive breakthrough for you. It's huge, it's game-changing, it's empowering. It, it's really surreal, I can't explain it any much better than that, maybe in a different video for a whole topic talking about this, but when that happens, it's like a, a bunch of weight gets lifted off your shoulders. And when the, the weight is lifted off your shoulders, you can exhale and you're like, okay, I have that down. But then about a thousand different doors open up that you need to explore on so many different levels of narcissism, of the relationship, of putting the puzzle pieces together, of understanding exactly what you went through. And these doors, sincerely for a long time, as you, as you open one door, explore it, discover it, understand it, become educated, and you close that door, probably two more doors will open up. And this is a long path. I'm still on it myself, and I will be on it virtually for the rest of my life. Guys, before I close the video out, I wanted to let you know, when, when you realized that you were with a narcissist, and you had that aha moment, which I call light bulb moments, when you had that light bulb moment, please drop a comment, let me know what you think, share it with the community. Because these, once you've actually figured out that you were with a narcissist, it changes everything. And there are so many emotions you go through, so many feelings you have, so many thoughts. It is unlike anything that you will ever experience in your entire life. Because remember, in a healthy relationship, when that ends, you most times you get a cup of coffee, like I mentioned on the channel many times, you get a cup of coffee, sit down, think, discuss it with the, your soon to be ex-partner and you just say, hey, yeah, you know, it's not really working out. I think you feel the same way, do you? You discuss, you, you have healthy back and forth and then you say, yeah, okay, let's just move forward, no hard feelings or whatever it is and you, and, and you get closure. With a narcissist, you don't have that. What you have is a, the ending of a relationship with a crash, a thud, it's done. And then you're on your own trying to figure everything out. So guys, I hope you liked the video. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew, God bless you, namaste. Have a great afternoon. I am gonna go meditate again in my beautiful pool and enjoy my early afternoon. I'll create another couple videos today and drop them. I just wanna let you guys know you're loved, you're beautiful, remain strong. You are a bright, shining light, and I love you more than ever. Stay strong during this period. We know it's the holidays. Do your best, maintain your boundaries, continue to learn, become educated, and grow. I'll talk to you guys later in the afternoon. Namaste, I love you. You're a bright, shining light. God bless you, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.